Bainbridge Island may only be a 35 minute ferry ride from downtown Seattle, but it's a world away from the hustle and bustle of city life. By car or by foot, the beautiful island can be enjoyed over a long weekend or even just for the day if you just need to get away for a little bit. The team from Explore Washington State and What's Up NW.com recently visited Bainbridge Island for the first time, and I think it's safe to say that we'll definitely be going back to explore more of this island. Taking the 10.40 a.m. ferry from the Coleman Dock, we arrived on this little island just after 11 a.m. The day could not have been more beautiful, and as we pulled into Eagle Harbor, we knew that we were in for the perfect day to explore something new. with whatsupnw.com and I am Mike DeMeo with explorewashingtonstate.com and we are here today at Bainbridge Island. We are doing a walkabout and we're gonna get some shrimp on the bobby and uh, we got here on this kangaroo. Uh, no it's not, it's a ferry. It took all of 30 minutes to get from Seattle downtown here today and it's a beautiful day and we're here exploring the city. My name is Will Grant. I own That's a Sun Pizza here on Bainbridge Island. Last October, I went to the Caputo Cup competition in Atlantic City and won best non-traditional pizza. I used my Gorgonzola vegetarian with a sustainably farmed flour from this, from this region. I got first place, and my manager got second place with a pepperoni, onion, and traditional pizza. Those two wins at the top of the category made us the uh, top-rated pizzeria in the United States as of October. And then the thing that makes us the most different is we use a 120-year-old sourdough starter from Monte Gold Rush. And it is the oldest sourdough starter in a pizzeria in, in the world, and it's one of the oldest sourdough stars in the world also. You can call me stupid. I'm more of a traditional meat pizza kind of guy, but if the only pizza I ever ate again was his gorgonzola vegetarian, well, you wouldn't find me complaining about it. I highly recommend trying That's a Some Pizza for lunch or for dinner if you're on Bainbridge Island. Just keep in mind that he says the wait times can get up to three hours on Fridays and Saturdays. Recommended by almost everyone we've met so far on our expedition, we just had to try Mora Ice Creamery. Mora churns ice cream the old-fashioned way. They have over 70 flavors with 48 on hand on any given day, and it's a perfect break from that summer sun. Mora is a must visit on your stop to Bainbridge Island. Hey everyone, we're here at Mora Ice Creamery with my friend Mandy. Hi, I'm a local here on the beautiful Bainbridge Island, giving them the rundown. Yes, she's showing us around, and uh, so we're eating this amazing mojito sorbet, and it literally tastes like I have mojito. It tastes like this should be bad, but it's so good.
These days, Amazon offers a massive array of toys, games, clothes, arts and crafts, collectibles, all that stuff, but nothing beats shopping for toys in person. There's a 10-year-old hidden inside of all of us, and the Calico Toy Shop brings that out. They offer a large selection of toys, and they have a bear that blows bubbles on you as you walk by on the sidewalk, so who can't fall in love with that? Plus, there's an entire section dedicated to crazy cat ladies. And the animal masks, well, they're a lot of fun to play with too. As we wanted to catch the 3.50 p.m. ferry back to Seattle, we spent our last hour or so walking around the Winslow Wharf Marina and enjoying the views and the sun. The harbor was easy walking distance from the downtown area and views are absolutely incredible. It was quiet and peaceful and we just didn't want to leave. Hey everyone, it's us again, Mike here with explorewashingtonstate.com and Leslie with whatsupnw.com. We are halfway through our walkabout of Bainbridge Island and we've gone through the town and we've seen a number of things. We've seen, uh, how about the pizza? The pizza. <laughs> I, I just, just forgot. forgot. That's some pizza. Oh, that's that's some pizza. a pizza. And it was amazing. The food was, the pizza was delicious. It was amazing. We also had some ice cream from Mora's Ice Creamery, I think. That Mora Ice Creamery, Mora. yes. It had some, uh, it was delicious. The, the flavors of it, there's so many flavors and you can try everything and they give it to you free and they were nice. Right? And they, they didn't like get mad if you wanted to try more than no. one or two things. They were. I tried a few. They were like, here, uh, have more, and it's okay. Have a mora. Have a mora. And ice they cream. said, okay, yeah. Oh. So as we were traveling, we were gathering some things, and one of the places that we stopped was at Calico, Calico Toy Shop. Toy Shop, and Calico Toy Shop was fun. We spent a little time in there. But it's great. We're here now at the Winslow Wharf Marina, and. So even if you visit Bainbridge Island for a few hours just to get away from Seattle and recharge your mind, it's a perfect place to unwind. We can't wait to visit again and explore more of what this little island has to offer. To watch more of our adventures, would you consider subscribing to our Explore Washington State YouTube channel? It's free and we try to upload a new video about stuff to do in Washington State every few weeks. You can also check out Leslie's fantastic blog covering the entire Pacific Northwest at whatsupnw.com. Till next time, happy exploring. Uh, 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 uh.